Hi everyone, let's solve the code 30, substring with concatenation of all words. Um, it's a hard problem, but there are a lot of some downs actually, since um, it's not easy to code elegantly. But personally, I like this problem since uh, it's something like a sliding window problem. Okay, let's take a look at the problem. So we are given string S and uh, an array of string words of the same length. We need to return all starting indexes of substrings in S, such as a concatenation of each word in this word, exactly once in any order. So, for example, zero, we have bar four, nine, we have four bar. Okay. So, one naive solution for this problem is um, like we just try every starting indexes. And for that starting indexes, we just try to match the word. Like in these words. Yes, it works, but it's kind of slow. As I mentioned previously, it's like a sliding window problem. So we can process index 0, 3, 6, 9, 4. Then in the second round, we test 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. And in the third round, we test 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. OK, so first, we test index 0 three, six, nine, and so on. And we have two pointer. I and J, I is slow pointer, J is fast pointer. And we have map here. We just follow each word in these words and the increment as long as we say a word. And we also have so count here. So count means in current sliding window, how many valid words I have. For example, if count is three, which means uh, it's same as the word length. And that in this sliding window, I have all the words in these words. That's a valid um, substring. Okay, let's start. So first, for J, we have word bar. Then we just consume this bar. We eat this bar. So bar is uh, like in the map, we eat this bar, we consume the one bar here. So the occurrence is from uh, like one to zero. Since we eat it, we consume it, which means we consume the one used forward. So my count becomes one. Then I eat a four. Four also be, um, becomes zero from one, like from one to zero. Then my count is two. Next, I eat one more four. Four like becomes negative one, which means like I add or I like I consume the um, unnecessary or redundant word. So we don't need to change count here. Next, it, uh, next we eat bar. Bar also become negative one. At this point, we know in this sliding window, we have four words. So we need to pop one word. So we start to move uh, index i. So the word is bar here. We just pop this bar. So the bar is um, from negative one to zero, which means we, we pop unnecessary bar. So the count also does not change here. Then we consume this third. So it becomes zero, becomes zero. So count is becomes like three. Then here we pop a four. Four becomes zero, like from negative one. Now we uh, count is three, which is same as what's this, dot size. So we just push count i into our answer. I is six. Next, we can assume four, but we pop four. So count is still three, we push nine. Next, we eat bar and we pop bar. We push 12. Next, we eat a man. So man becomes negative one, but it does not change my count. Then I need to pop the word at index i. So it becomes one, which means we pop a useful word. So count need to decrease by one. Count becomes two. And then now the iteration finishes. Then we can start to use the, we can use the same method to try index one and two. And finally, we can just return our answer. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation. First we define the local variable result and the return result at the end. Okay, and this is my dictionary to contain the 
like current occurrence of the world. And we have some variable here. First, we just iterate each word in my words and uh, update my dictionary. Okay, as I mentioned, first we need to try index zero, three, six, nine. Then we start try index one. At last, we try index two. So here is a for loop. For each uh, specified index i, like we maintain a local variable count and we copy this dictionary to my uh, copy. Since I need to update my dictionary in my for loop, so I just copy it here and update my local copy. Okay, next, um, this is a fast pointer. So in each iteration, we just move this fast pointer and uh, we get the count word like uh, in this fast pointer and we update the local copy. If after the uh, update, the value is still greater or equal than zero, which means we consume a useful word, so count plus plus. Then we try to say if we need to pop a word. If we need to pop a word, then we get the word we need to pop. Uh, we need to pop. Then we update our local copy. If after um, the update, the value is greater than zero, which means we pop a useful word. So count minus minus. At the end, if count is same as m, m is what the size, which means this substring is a value substring. So I just push back my starting index. Okay, here I only have a fast pointer. I don't have a, a slow pointer. This i is not slow pointer. This i just to specify we need to like, first we need to process index zero, then one, then two, it's not just a slow pointer. So here I don't have an explicit slope pointer. Since for this sliding window, it's a fixed length sliding window. So for this pop start, there is a way to calculate the slope pointer from the fast pointer since it's fixed length. Okay, what's the time complexity here? Assume uh, N is S dot length and W is length of each word. This is the time complexity. Since we visit each index at most twice, you know, we have fast pointer and a slow pointer. So we visit each index at most twice. And for each index, we may use substring or, and we may like, update the data structure of um, hash map. Okay, so this is time complexity. Yes, that's it. So I personally uh, think it's a good problem and there are many methodology and many tricks we can apply and learn from this um, question. Okay, that's it, thanks.